Uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Eric Frankiel. I am the CEO and co-founder of MemSQL. Uh, a little bit about ourselves. We got started about a year and a half ago. Uh, left Facebook, Nikita and I joined Y Combinator, uh, went into the program, graduated, and fast forward today, we have about 12 folks in San Francisco. We're backed in part by First Round Capital, NEA, SV Angel, DST, and uh, Ashton Kutcher. So he made uh, databases are sexy again, uh, and we're, we're quite happy to have uh, our investors aboard. Uh, prior to Facebook, Nikita actually worked at SQL Server for a number of years, and uh, within Facebook, we've had a focus on platforms and infrastructure. So in terms of what I'm here to talk about, it really is the fact that the database itself is the bottleneck. And more in particular, it's the disk in particular that is the bottleneck for that. What we have today is a data flood, an inundation of data, and we don't know how to deal with it. The symptoms that we see today, slow applications, a lot of unhappy customers because of that latency, both internal to your organization and external, your end users. A lot of time wasted with engineering teams trying to create brittle infrastructure. Uh, and obviously analytics themselves that take forever to complete. What this ultimately means is that revenue is being lost because we're spending it in the wrong places on infrastructure itself that is antique. And that's where we come in. MemSQL is a memory optimized database that's 30 times faster than current databases on disk. Now, in terms of what that means, we are a real-time transactional solution. And in terms of real-time, we really do mean it. Uh, on EC2, quadruple extra large, eight cores, we can push 250,000 transactions per second with an individual round trip per query. Uh, on more powerful hardware, you give us more CPU, the faster we go. We have a customer that's pushing a million and a half transactions a second on a 48 core machine off Dell.com, commodity. More importantly than how fast we go, it's that we're extremely low latency and deterministic. Every single one of our queries completes in under a millisecond, with the vast majority completing in 200 to 400 microseconds. What this means is your apps are responsive, and you know and can guarantee that they will be responsive. The other thing is it's easy to scale upwards or outwards. We're NUMA aware when you want that 320 core SGI machine. Um, and our focus is really on data movement. Sharding is a simple thing to set up and a hard thing to manage. So a lot of our tooling around our distributed system really is focused on making that happen. Ultimately, what this means is that you can actually reduce hardware. You don't have to buy more disk to push more throughput. And your engineering teams can actually spend less time focusing on how to actually scale a workload and give back to work building the actual features. And best of all, it runs anywhere, uh, whether that's in the cloud or your own private data center. Um, ultimately, our philosophy is it's your data and therefore your database. In terms of our approach, it truly is a modern approach to how we've built our database from the ground up. Uh, memory itself is capacious, affordable, everywhere, ubiquitous. And uh, if you were to design a database today, it would live in memory. And that's really what our vision is. Every OLTP database should live in memory. The fact is that memory prices themselves are falling 40% year over year. You can get a terabyte of memory today for about $12,000. Uh, the cloud makes it easy to scale. Uh, and in terms of our core IP, why are we so much faster than the competition? It really is the fact that we go into memory properly with lock-free data structures. Your reads never block your writes. And uh, the really cool thing about us is that we're one part database and one part compiler. We actually take your SQL and turn it into native instructions in C++. So the next time that we see a similar query, we just point right to that shared object. No uh, time wasted on uh, interpretation, pure execution. In terms of a great use case, real-time analytics is perfect around this. Uh, we have a customer called uh, Minnow Monsters. They're a very popular social game on the iPhone with hundreds of thousands of active users. A lot of game state needs to be synced back to that server, creates an OLTP problem, and they need to analyze that in real time. Now, they were using Postgres on EC2 beforehand, and they were seeing 60 millisecond latencies per query. They switched to MemSQL, and that latency dropped to one millisecond per query. Now, ultimately what Minnow Monsters wanted to do was build out infrastructure that more or less came from out of Zynga. And the reason why TJ actually gave that quote is because he left Zynga to actually start Minnow Monsters. And it's very important to have a great insight into your, how your data works. In terms of traction, 3,000 plus users in our private beta, uh, variety of customers in a variety of verticals, in use cases, traffic spikes, uh, real time, uh, machine data, anything very volatile. In terms of our business model, uh, it's free under 10 gigabytes. Uh, you can download that off our website. Beyond that, on EC2 deployments, it's a dollar an hour uh, beyond that 10 gigabyte uh, threshold. And we also offer plans for premium uh, licenses for enterprise. Measured in terabyte blocks, comes with 24-7 support, a lot of extra features that you just can't get uh, under 10. 
So you can go ahead and download us June 5th uh, at memsql.com. In the meantime, I encourage you guys to uh, register on the website. Thank you very much. Great.